Thank you. The body of a Pope County deputy who was killed in his 44th birthday is back home after an hours long procession across the state. Pope County Deputy Joshua Owen was killed along with a suspect in a domestic assault call Saturday night in the small Minnesota town of Cyrus. He was the third law enforcement officer killed in the span of a week in our region. And as Courtney Godfrey reports, now another small town is planning a funeral. Deputy Owen's squad cars parked here in front of the Pope County Government Center where a growing memorial has taken shape. The 44-year-old was welcomed home to Glenwood today, led by a procession of more than 100 law enforcement officers from around the state. Everybody's going to miss him, whether they knew him or not. It, he was part of this community. With flags lowered to half staff, a community grieves. I feel so bad for the family and everybody that loved him. And it was so unnecessary. Deputy Josh Owen shot and killed Saturday night while responding to a domestic abuse call at an apartment in Cyrus, Minnesota, leaving behind a wife and son. It's not an easy conversation to speak with somebody who just lost their husband in the line of duty. Her whole world is literally turned upside down. Jim Mortensen leads Law Enforcement Labor Services, the state's largest police labor union. He says with recent calls in cities like Minneapolis to defund the police and the rise in violent crime, officers are now facing more violent and more hostile subjects than ever before calling on public officials to condemn violence against police officers. The, uh, the inmates are running the asylum and that narrative has to change. Owen was with Pope County Sheriff for nearly 12 years alongside his canine Karma. Before that, he served in the U.S. military, recently receiving a Distinguished Service Award. Monday, he was escorted to the funeral home where deputies will stay by his side until he's laid to rest. Um, a good officer lost his life for no really reason. And he's got a family. Officials have yet to identify the suspect who shot and killed Deputy Owen or the other two officers who were injured. But people familiar with the situation tell us that Owen's partner was likely saved by his bulletproof vest as he took a bullet to the chest. If you'd like to financially support Owen's wife and child, you can make a donation. The link is up on the Pope County website. In Glenwood tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.